Hey guys, Zach here, coming at you with another video. So, sorry for the lower quality um, in terms of video and stuff. Um, I'm actually using my laptop to record this video because I'm going to be doing the um, uh, tier list thing um, for this uh, particular ranking because I think it just kind of, it's a little bit easier for me and plus, um, I just think it makes more sense for the list that I'm doing. So, anyways guys, I'm going to be talking about my top, or I know, sorry, I'm going to be ranking my favorite Mario Party 6 mini games. I love Mario Party 6, it's my favorite Mario Party game. So I thought what better video to do on it than ranking the mini games. Uh, maybe I'll do the boards later down the line. Um, but regardless, I'm going to be ranking the mini games today. So make sure to sit down, enjoy, and uh, let's get right into it. Zach Pack, he's always there for you. Zach Pack, only on YouTube. Okay, so you know how tier how tier list works. Um, S is actually going to be my favorite mini game. So my favorite mini game. So there's only going to be one up here. And then obviously A is really really good. B is really good. C is okay, pretty good. D is eh, and F sucks. So let's start off here. We have Blooper Scooper. Uh, I'm automatically going to put that one up in A. That's one. It's one of my favorites. I love Blooper Scooper. Um, I don't know if it's just the tense music or um, you know, that kind of stuff, um, but yeah, and by the way, guys, uh, I'm not gonna remember every single name of every single mini game. so I apologize, the ones I remember are probably gonna be the ones that are higher up on this list, so, yeah, um, I forget what this one's, is this Cannonball Fun? Is that what this is, Cannonball Fun? Something like that? Um, I think that's an okay mini game. it's pretty good, um, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, Catch You Letter, I'm gonna put at um I'll put that one at C. Catch you letter is pretty good. It's it's you know it's pretty good. The only like I, I think this is a pretty popular one actually. I know a lot of people like this mini game. It's just my thing is that I just I don't know, it's just getting letters and giving them to, to a running shy guy. Um plus the shy guy is sometimes hard to catch up to, so I don't know. It's a pretty good mini game, just not the best in my opinion. Um What's this one called? Oh, I, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's a B. I really like that one, but I just don't remember what it's called. Amplified? No, I think it's the name of the Game Boy Advance, um, game, but, um, or mini game that has those amp things. But regardless, really, really fun. I really, really like that one. Uh, yeah, it's just really fun. Daft Rafts, come on. Like, that's just a, a that's just a really, really fun mini game. Daft Rafts, I think it's actually the first mini game I've probably ever played from Mario Party 6. Cause I do have very like nostalgic memories for that mini game. Um, it's pretty good. It's it's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Um, oh, what's the name of this one? Cap capture me? No, I don't know. The, uh, it's the picture taking one. Um, that one's okay to see. It's pretty good. Pretty good. It's okay. Um, now Granite Getaway is my favorite mini game from Mario Party Six. Granite Getaway is such a fun mini game uh and i just realized actually that these are actually probably in alphabetical order right because cannonball fun catch you letter uh, blooper scooper was the first one then daft drafts yeah so i think these are all in alphabetical order so that should make my life easier when it comes to uh guessing these um but anyways uh yeah uh granite getaway is my favorite mario party 6 mini game and actually, I think it is my favorite minigame of all time for Mario Party, so... Uh, regardless, uh, yeah, very, very fun. Um, what's this one called? Is it... I want to say it was like Platform something, but it's not, because that's Memory Lane. Um, but either one, this one's okay, it's pretty... Actually, no, I'll give it to B. That's actually pretty fun. Um, yeah, it's pretty fun. Uh, Memory Lane is, it's, it's good, it's good, um, the thing with me and Memory Lane, I, I mean, maybe this is a me thing, but I think it's really easy, like, usually I can memorize it really, really easy, and I have a horrible short-term memory, 
but even I'm usually able to get them down pretty quickly and do them, maybe with one mistake. So, uh, yeah, memory lane, pretty good, but, you know. Um, I thought this was called Conveyor Bolt. No, that's something else. Um, I forget what this is called. But... Actually, you know, that, that was actually kind of fun, trying to remember, like, which um, thing is, you know, in display and the x-ray thing, trying to remember. That one, it's pretty fun. I like that one. Motown... I'll put at B as well. I do think that one's kind of overrated, personally. Um, but it's a fun mini game. Um, note to self, right? This one's note to self. Eh. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's not horrible. Not amazing. It's just kind of there. Yeah. Uh, this one's. Oh, what's this? What's this one called? Memory? No. Now this is same as lame, right? Same as lame? No, that's not same as lame. Regardless, um, this one... Uh, it's a memory one. It's a typical memory one. Um, got nothing else really more to say about that one. This one's Pokey Pummel. Uh, oh, that one's Odd One Out. That's what that one's called. Odd One Out. Figure that one out a little bit too late. Um, yeah, this one's Pokey Pommel, uh, it's okay, it's, it's okay, uh, this one is same as lame, this one's same as lame, uh, and I like that one, quite a bit, yeah, that's about right for that one, um, yeah, I don't know what else to really say about that one, really, uh, Smash Town, right, is it called Smash Town, Smash Town, something like that, um, regardless, um, uh, that one's not really my favorite one, that one's, I don't know, kind of drags on a little bit, not my favorite, but it's not, you know, like, if I get it, I don't hate it, you know, um, Snow Ride, I mean, come on, like, that's, that's a classic, Snow Ride is a, is one of the best ones, like, like, usually, um, Granite Getaway, Blooper Scooper, and Snow Ride always kind of, like, I don't want to say they're interchangeable, because Granite Getaway is always just kind of number one for me, but all three of them were just super, super fun for me. Um, don't remember what this one's called. It's the golf one. I think that one... It's fun. It's fun. Um, throw me a bone. That one's pretty fun. I like throw me a bone. No, 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 not A, not A. B. I meant B. Um, yeah. I think some people would probably put that one in A, but it's fun. It's not one of my favorite ones, but it's really good. Um, what's this one called? Trapeze Artist. That's what this one's called. Um, it's okay. It's pretty, pretty okay. Treasure Trawlers. I'm not a huge fan of. No, no, no. It's not. It's not an F. It's just a D. Like, it's okay. Like, like, really, there's not a mini game that I loathe getting. So, I guess this one's, you know, that. Um, though, actually, if there is a mini game I do loathe getting, it is this one. But I think we're going to get this as well. I forget what this one's called. It's, um, yeah, I don't remember. Um, What Goes Up is a classic. Um, it's basically the Leaf Leapers of Mario Party 6. Um, don't remember this one, or the name of this one. I remember how it plays. Um. It's okay. It's not, it's not memorable. Excuse me. Um. This one, I don't remember the name of. Cash Flow? Cash Flow? Right? Cash Flow? Um. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, this one, I think, is called Conveyor Bolt. This is the one called Conveyor Bolt. That one's pretty fun. I'll put that one in B. It's pretty fun. Um, especially when you're the one player and you have all three of your opponents coming after you. That one's pretty good fun. Crate and Peril. Uh, this is an unpopular opinion, but I really like this mini game. So, I think that's... Is it A-worthy? Yeah, why not? 
it's pretty A worthy. I like that mini game quite a bit. I think they included that in the top 100 too. So, yeah. Um, Dust Till Dawn, I really like as well. Um, usually, like with one versus three mini games, I'm very picky, and these two just happen to have all the right things for me. Um, what was this one? Pop till you drop or drop pop drop pop thing? I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. Um, this one, don't remember what it's called. Um, it's another okay one. Um, the snowball one. I completely forget the name of it. I don't know how I'm forgetting the name of it. Um, this one is pretty fun. I'll put it in B. This one, I don't really care for at all. Um... You know, as the one, it's almost impossible because you have all three of them shooting at you. But then when you're the one of the three in the front, you're always getting shot. Um, it's just kind of, eh. It's not a great mini game in my opinion. Um, don't remember what this one's called. Um, it's one versus three. I'll put it in B. It's pretty, pretty fun. Uh, this one is also kind of abysmal. Um, I don't care for this one. I think this one's a pretty popular, maybe not popular, but, um, yeah. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that one. Um, this one's the robot building one. Um, yeah, it's okay. It's not great. It's, eh. Uh, burn style. That's a freaking great one. I love burn style. Now, I, funny enough, I usually do not like two versus too many games. Like, most of the two versus two mini games would probably be C and below for me. Like, I just don't like two versus two for whatever reason. I just don't like them. But Burn Style is a fun one. I like that one. Cash something, probably. Um, it's okay. It's okay. It's pretty generic. It's teeter totter. You get the coins, you know. It's. Pretty generic. Um, the window washers one. That that's actually another pretty good two versus two one. Um, so I'll put that one in B. That's pretty fun. Uh, what's this one like? Crop something. Um, yeah. Basically just a button masher, isn't it? It's there's not much special about that one. Same with this one. Gondola glide. Yeah, it's not that amazing. This one, actually quite a few good. Actually, should that one go to A? Um, yeah, I'll put this one at A. Because that one's just a lot of fun. Was it? Was it a bullet? Something? I wish I remember all the names for these mini games. This one I don't like at all. Uh, the fan one. Another two versus two. Um, yeah, I just don't like that one. Um, what is it? It's fan something. Yeah, I don't like it that much. Um, then we have Monty's Revenge or whatever that one's called. That one... Give it a C. It's okay. Pixel me this, right? Is that one this? Or pixel this, pixel something? Pixel Perfect. That's one that was called. Pixel Perfect. Um, that one... Eh, it's a bit slow, a bit sluggish. But I'll give it, I'll give it a C. It's, it's okay. Um, why, uh, Rocky Road. I actually, funny enough, I think this one's overrated. Funny enough, I, I know this one's a lot of people's favorites. I think it's overrated. Let's see, I think it's overrated. Um, the, this one, the slot one, something slots, uh, it's, actually, I'll even give it a D. It's, eh. Oh, this is one of the Mike mini games. I didn't have, I never had much experience with the Mike mini games. Um, but I've played them all. I have played the Mike mini games. So let me see if I can. Let me see how well I can do this. Um, this one's just another hexagon heat, basically, except you call out a number and you know, or a, a fruit. I mean, it's it's okay. Same with this one. You call out different um, enemies. It's okay. Um, I honestly don't even remember this one. I don't remember this one, but... 
Probably put it C, because that seems to be the theme here. Uh, this one's actually pretty fun, though. I actually kind of like this one, so I think I'll put this one at B, because that one's actually pretty good. Oh, is this another one? Because I don't remember that one. I think that's probably... Oh, yeah, don't you tell them to go left, right, and down. Don't you have to instruct them where to go? That's, eh. Not my favorite. Um, control stick. That one's fun. That one's a lot of fun. Like, a lot of fun. Like, especially once you get really deep into it and it really speeds up. Oh, that one's, that one's perfect. Um. <sighs> dead to aim or something like that. I'm really trying my best with these mini game names, guys. This one's not great. Not, it's not that great. Look at how this is filling up. Oh, my gosh. Um. Insectoride. I mean, actually, it can be kind of fun if you pick the right one and know how to strategize with it. I'll give it a C. That's okay. What the heck is that one? I can't even see that one. Hold on, I actually have to look in closer here. Oh, that's, st that's the stamp one. That's the stamp hammer one. Wow, I could not see that. Um, that was okay. Yeah. Strawberry Short Fuse is pretty fun. I'll give that one a B. Um, don't know what this one's called, but it's a typical beat em up kind of mini game. Give it a C. Uh, Black Hole Boogie is freaking fun. Um, because you gotta do, kind of, like, uh, tap the button as fast as you can, and it gets really tense, so I'll give that one a B. A lot of the dual mini games are actually probably gonna get Bs, because I actually like quite a few of them. Um, this one's Booed Off the Stage. Booed Off the Stage is pretty fun. Um, what's this one called? Count. Let's count the boos, basically. Um, that one's okay. I'll give that one a C. Uh, Full Tilt, freaking A. A tier, um, dual mini game that one is. Cog Jog, um, give that one a B. Cog Jog's fun. Light Up My Night, um, Light Up My Night, that's a B worthy one. Um, oh, what's this one called? I don't remember what this one called. Um, this one... It can't be... B or C? I'll give it a C, because it's pretty simple, but it is fun, you know? It, it's pretty fun. Astroid Rage. That one, it, the thing is, though, like, once you know it, it's really easy. I'll give that one a C. Um, tic tac toe one. So that's another okay one. Wow, my computer's about to die. Better plug that in. All right, thank God it did that. All right, this one's just complete luck. Um, I don't even remember what this one's called, but it's luck. Can't really say much more about it. Um, the gem findy one. That one's okay. Uh, oh, I remember this one. That one's Lunar Ticks, right? I believe that one's Lunar Ticks. Or is this one Lunar Ticks? Or no, this one's Asteroid Rage. And what's the other one? I don't know. I just get all these confused. Because, like, a lot of them are either space-themed or, like, Haunted Woods Boo-themed. So I get them all confused. Um, this one's fun. That one's fun. Uh, the, ooh, Sumo, what is it? Sumo of Dumo, right? Sumo of Dumo? That one is just, it's okay. It's got the same stupid tank controls as, where is it? As which one? This one. So, it could only be uh, so much fun. Um, this one, it can get really tense when both of you are on the last one. So I'll give that one a, a C. Um, this one's really just luck, isn't it? 
but it's not at, you know, I'll put it one step up from this one, from this one, because it's not as luck-based. Like, I think that if you, like, did really pay attention, there might be some sort of strategy, but... Alright, so the last ones are the DK and Bowser minigames. Um, Banana Shake, pretty good overall. Um, I'll give that one a C. Yeah, I'll give that one a C. This one, eh, it's not great, not bad. Yeah. Um, ban banana Hop, I don't know what this one's called. This one's pretty fun. I'll put this one in B. Um, all the Bowser minigames are freaking great, so these are all going to be B's and A's. Um, this one, it's, it's, I don't want to, I don't want to put... <sighs> Dizzy Rotisserie, I think I'm going to put in B. Because that was a lot of fun. It's just that, like, I, I think it would have been better if um, every time you played the minigame, the controls were different. Um, because once you've played the minigame enough, you know the controls. You know the reverse controls of the game. And even if you don't, they are really easy to get. Like, ridiculously easy to get. So, um, I mean, granted, it's not supposed to be hard. But I just wish they did something like where it's like, it, it, like each time you play the minigame, it's not the same exact control stuff. But still a freaking great minigame. Um, this one... I'll put this one at C. It's pretty good. Like, it's okay. It's pretty good. Um, just not really much to it. Just avoid Bowser, basically. And this one's freaking great. That's an A one. That's definitely an A one. Um, yeah. So, not too bad there, guys. Like, I think, I hope, I hope you can see this whole entire thing here. Um, but obviously, granted, get it with my favorite. I'm not going to go through this whole list repeating what everything is. But let me, in fact, let me zoom in so you guys can see maybe a bit better. Um, this is the favorite rank right here, and here are the A rank mini games I have here. Um, these two rows are B rank here. Uh, these three rows are C rank, um, which is okay, decent. Uh, then we have this row and a half that's D. And then these three that are F. So, what do you guys think? What are your favorite mini games from Mario Party Six? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say um, for your favorite mini games. I know this is kind of a longer video. I'm just seeing how long the video is now, 25 minutes. And even after I edit down a few of the dead moments, it's still probably going to be over 20 minutes. So I apologize. But if you're a huge fan of Mario Party 6, I'm presuming this was fun to see you know, where I rank each mini game and where I kind of put everything. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Check out my merch store and all that good stuff. All my social media links are also down in the description down below. So make sure to check everything out. And yeah, so until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video.